Hello everyone, it's Buddy702 here and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Survival Series. Today is episode 13 and today we will be working on ourselves a lovely slime farm. Let's just get some more fireworks here. The slime farm is going to be located at this chunk just down here below and it's going to be a double chunk slime farm. I did use uh, Ennis to find it but yeah, because I wanted a double one. So since, since last episode, I've done a huge amount of resource gathering, gathering, gathering resources here. I've got a huge amount of sand as well, and we're getting quite a few decent amount of diamonds. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, looking pretty good. But that is all thanks to the lovely beacon we got in episode 11, or last episode. So let's just pop down and see the area that I've cleared out so far. So if we pop down here, if you guys remember, we only just started clearing it out. But we had a beacon situated right here. But I've moved the beacon over here now because these are all marked out slime chunks and a huge area I've cleared out. But we're going to be working on the slime farm over here as you can see some lovely active slime. Let's just quickly kill off these guys because they, they're, they're quite a bit of a pain. So, oh, hello, hello creeper. What are you doing there? Don't blow up. Please don't blow up. So what we need to do is kill this creeper first. And these slimes are quite a bit of a pain. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to go ahead and we need to clear out, function F3, G. We need to clear out these two big chunks up here, plus these little three areas on the side. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a bottom layer of the farm here and we're going to have mine carts going back and forth collecting all our lovely slime balls. We will eventually have a storage system going up top, but that there is for future plans. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, I've gotten rid of all my cobblestone out in there. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go and grab a couple bits so I can go up and show what I'm going to do. So first off, once I get all these resources here, you can show what I'm building. Well, I need to clean out this entire chunk. That's my first task for today, which I'm going to just quickly do a little... Not really time lapse sort of thing because it's just so boring. So what we've got here is up here we have got ourselves. Let's just block off this here so I don't lose all the light. But up here we have got ourselves a lovely water. So right here on this block here is going to be a big huge glass window that is going to go across the top. Well it's going to be slightly down a little bit more lower. But that is going to be the top of our slime farm which is going to be the first thing I'm going to put in anyway today. So, oh, that, that was stupid. Where do we get down? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start clearing out that lovely top bit for our, our slime farm and putting in the glass windows and I'll be right back with you guys once I have completed that task. <laughs> Okay, I hope all of you guys enjoy that little short little clip there, but this is now what the place looks like. It looks pretty nice, I think. With the lovely open glass roof, I'll eventually go ahead and clear out all of this ugliness here so we have a nice skylight going straight up and above. I'm just going to pop up there and I'll see what it looks like from above. Oh my god, oh my god, oh no no no, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, jeez! <laughs> that was a complete and utter mess, wasn't it people? I did not expect that many mobs to be there, but I suppose since we're on an island, that's the only thing that's getting loaded up right now. Okay, let's see if I can go and get my stuff back without being destroyed by mobs which could be a quite a high chance there could be some mobs still there with all my stuff oh jeez what oh no oh, for a second i thought all my stuff had been exploded no uh -oh. why have there a bit of trouble here oops that's ah oh, goddamn lag i don't even really have any tools that i can use to kill anything I'm breaking infinity, okay, let's just take this down there. We've got five minutes before our stuff despawns. Oh 
Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to try and do some go away. Okay, let's do this whole. Yeah, there's some massive slimes down here. What the heck? How did they have my sword? I don't know if they could pick up my sword. Oh, got this house and early disc. Let's see if I can get over here and get my stuff. I did not know skeletons could pick up swords, which is very interesting. Of course, they have the mechanics to do it. They normally have bows in that there, but that's very interesting. Okay, let's pop down and try and get my stuff for a third time. It shouldn't be as harsh now since we've killed off most of the... Unless big ones spawn and I suppose that's always another issue, isn't it? Okay, everyone, I'm now back and what I need to go ahead and do now is pretty much go ahead. I'm going to go through and mend my tools and FPS before I do it. I have to go through and clear out this entire chunk, which is going to be a very, very fun task. So I'm going to go ahead and do that there and... Yeah, we're going to have so much slime once this starts, once this farm's up and running. So yeah, this is going to be a fun task. So I'm just going to chuck down a few chests here. And I love how you can still put these chests right next to each other. And I'll be right back with you guys once I've cleared out this entire area ready for the platforms to go in. Okay everyone, about one hour later we have now cleared out the entire area. So to me, I think it looks pretty amazing. How nice and smooth it is. I have done a couple of indents here of where we will be placing our iron golems. But to start things off, I think we should start placing in our lovely platforms. Or, well, I'm just going to go up the sides anyway. I think they're over here. And I'm going to mark out where they're going to be going just so we can have... Oops. So we can have a clear idea of what we're actually going to be building. So I'm going to go up to the top first and we're going to work our way down with making these platforms. So I'm going to jump all the way up to the top. And just so I make sure I build everything on the correct layer. Okay, so I've got one, two, three. And we want to have the platforms going here. So to start it off, we want to drop down a couple blocks. So we want to have it on the bottom of the third layer. That's one, one platform going there. Then we go one two three and we have the next one going down here because we want to have three layers so we have enough room for the slimes to spawn underneath two three and i think we're going to have five layers in total so that's one two three layers so far four layers and i believe this is our last layer here just gonna quickly kill this slime and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, since this is gonna be our last layer, we have to have a three gap going along here. And then underneath that gap there, we are gonna have ourselves our lovely killing section. So we want to have that there pretty much level with here, so it's going to be going along the outside. So it's going to be going nice and simple, going along the outside, and we'll be putting railway systems underneath these very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be placing down this pattern going around the entire outside. One, two, three. Because this is where, this is outside the chunks where the slimes will be killed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. So this is pretty much just going to be getting wrapped around like this here. And I'll be back once I wrap the entire outside with this magma. Okay everyone, we've got our lovely little platform going around now. I'm pretty sure I actually didn't really need to have the extra bits. I think I've, oh no, not too overboard with the magma. But I probably didn't really need to have these here because we're not going to have any golems here. But we're going to now have to put our tracks in. And we're going to have our collection system over this way here because eventually it's going to be going along and getting stored in our lovely system up there which we will be building in next episode. Our storage system for our lovely mob farm. So yeah, now we need to really go ahead and we need to go get all our tracks which are here and yeah, start placing in our little contraption thing. I'll be right back in a second. I just need to double check what I'm actually doing. 
Okay, everyone, now it's time to start work on our lovely little collection system sort of thing. So what we want to do here is we want to get ourselves our chest where our resources will be getting stored in or our lovely slime. And we want to place in a couple powered rails here. Pretty sure we're about to get up over there, hopefully. And next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down our lovely comparator and place down a couple bits of redstone here. So that goes along like that there, that goes there, and that there should be our little collection system here. So the minecart will come up and empty off into this one here. So I want to put in a double chest here, because we're going to want to have a two little gap here. And I want to place in another hopper here. And I want to clear out a little gap here as well. Because we want to have two of these systems in place. As we're going to be having two lots of hopper carts running along. So they should be exactly the same. And we have another piece of... Let's get rid of that there. It shouldn't affect it too much. And we go down like this here. And then what we need to do simply is run ourselves some uh, lines going along. And they will wrap around and they'll both stop against here. So we'll both have ourselves some lovely bricks stopping it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to speed up myself, quickly placing this down here. And I'll do the same to the other side. And I'll be back with you guys very, very shortly. Okay, everyone, both sides are now completed, and I'm hoping once items get in them, they should actually, the hopper car should stop up here, and they should dump all their resources in here. So what we need to do now is we need to stop all these mobs spawning down here, and we need to start putting in our lovely spawn platforms. So what I'm going to do here, stop them from spawning, I'm pretty sure they can't spawn uh, lowered half slabs, so what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to go ahead and create some half slabs. Let's quickly get rid of this junk that I've... I've got, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these slime balls. Hey, I'm going to have so many of them. So I need to have myself a couple stacks of slabs. And I'm going to create a little bottom layer, I suppose you could call it, down here to prevent any mobs in that there from spawning. So that's pretty much just going to go ahead and, yeah, go along. On the entire floor so it's going to get a little bit dark in here but this here should prevent the mobs any form of mobs from spawning in so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to complete this here and i'll be back with you guys once i do that sorry about all the progress updates this episode that is all for today it's just a progress update sort of episode today so yeah i see you guys very shortly Okay, so this is what it's looking like, everyone. Nice and dark now, but what we need to do is we need to start working on getting this place a little bit more better, don't we? So I'm going to empty out a bit of this here, and we need to start working on our lovely platforms. So what I want to do is I want to have lights every couple. So I've got one, so I've got one, this is a bit, one, two, three, I'm pretty sure on the fourth one. We want to have sort of like a jack-o'-lantern sort of thing, so I want to push this out here, and because we need to have some form of lighting source on this here, so that should be smooth there. So three out, and that there should be four from the corner. Yep, four from the corner, and that is how we're going to be doing our platforms. Nine, eight, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I think I do. Another light here. I think that should be okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a pattern through here and see what it looks like. And I'll be back with you guys very, very shortly. Okay, everyone. This is now all in place. And this is what it is looking like. I think it's looking pretty good myself. As you can see, I don't know if you've seen you see, but a slime just died by hopping onto that lovely magma there. But let's hope and see if those bits there should get picked up. Hopefully. Please pick up. Are they going to get picked up at all by minecarts? Okay, I hope they're going to get picked up by minecarts. But anyway, this is how we're going to be doing the top here. So this is what it's going to be. A lovely layers like going around like this here. But I'm going to slowly go ahead and chip away at this here. But we've got one lovely thing here. And that is how it's going to be done. So... Okay. 
Why isn't it getting picked up? <gasps> How are you spawning on half slabs? I don't understand that. Okay, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and chuck in all the platforms and get all the lights in and get this pretty much all that's up and running. And yeah, I'll be back with you guys once I fix up this here. It's supposed to be one block higher, so the minecart's supposed to be directly underneath here to pick up the blocks. But yeah, I'll see you guys pretty much right at the end when I end off this video with this farm completed. So yeah, I'll see you guys very shortly again. And yet again, I am so sorry about all these progress updates. Next episode shouldn't be as progress updates here, but yeah. I'll see you guys in and yeah. Okay everyone, this farm is now completed. I've gone ahead and added a few uh, three iron iron golems either side to help draw out all the slimes. So they're gonna be placed down the side there and well I'll show you guys what I've done down below. For a second I thought my well, light didn't activate then, so I'm just gonna quickly clear out this bit here. I'm hoping the slime's gonna be able to fit down here, it could be my only problem. But yeah, as you can see, oh, oops, that's just because I started AFKing there to get a little bit more iron for the farm. But, what, what, what do you, hmm, that, that one shouldn't be down there. Okay, so now let's reactivate these rails. I'll just be back once we do that. Okay, now that there is fixed, this is how much slime I've got in so far. <laughs> There is a decent amount, and I haven't been on here that long either. Yeah, this farm's going to work pretty good. So, this is pretty much ending off today's episode. Let's get rid of that there. So, I'd love to thank everyone for watching, and yeah, I should have another episode out in the next couple weeks or two. I'm going to try and upload maybe once a month with Minecraft content. But in the next episode, we will be working on the mob storage system, and that will be including hooking up this system up there as well. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video, and yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And yeah, to end it off, I'd love to say thanks for watching. Cue the outro.